Mission 5, Agriel's Decision. Agriel's quest is nearing its end. All that remains is to find two somewhere in the magical fog of the Dragon Mist Isles. Do we want five shooty ladies, 12 puppies, or a thing that makes us travel faster over the sea? We do know we're on a boat. <laughs> it says sex. Tint. <laughs> of the sea elves? Sea elves? That sounds like pirates. Hmm. Are we gonna get the 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 um the super fast turbo speed thing later if we don't take it now, or is this our only chance? Do you mean the thing that makes us sail faster? Yeah. I think there's one on the map, but it's not guaranteed and you know we take that one. okay. <laughs> The fog. They say it's alive, even hungry, and as old as Kabbaleth himself. It's best that I avoid it if possible. So, what it means with the so. fog is, you know, there's this uh, black around us, around the map, yeah. and usually when you move, yeah. it clears it away, right? Yeah. So if I move over here, it'll clear up over there a bit, right? Yeah. Uh, well, if I hit go, it doesn't move. Mm. So, what do? Well, if we land and visit this tower, then it reveals stuff. Oh. Ooh. Part of the map is revealed. And then this also helps reveal the map, too. This is just like in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, when you're in the underground. <laughs> Winter Lily wants to know if you want another hint. Sure. Did you give me a, a, a first hint? I don't know if the first hint was that they're hella gay. <laughs> or that um, it's one of their backup characters. Oof, not there. No, not there! Oh, okay. Please. Get the thing behind that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that cleared enough so we can land here or here. Hmm. Let's try over here. One thing that often happens with this board is when you uh, get on a boat, all your movement for the day leaves, so sometimes you'll just be like, two, three spaces away from the boat and basically lose a turn. Oh no! Wasn't there a thing in the last game that let you, like, not do that? I think so. Do Winter Lily first? says, this character is someone Mana had to nerf because they were broken. This next guest is your final. Hey, hey. See, now it works instantly. You just boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> oh, glorious. Nice. But I don't remember who Mana had to marry other than, uh...
I don't think I ever learned the, the name of the character. Or I just heard that there was a character you tried to give a booming blade trident to. Why is everything awkward in this map? Because pirates. You're a pirate. Arrgh! That's the one. Does that count as getting it right? I don't think I don't think I can get it right. I don't think you ever told me their name. <laughs> you should give them a name. Just like come up with one right now. Call them Jennifer. Is it Jennifer? She said we needed a name. <laughs> Dorothy? Is it Dorothy? We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. He really is a wonderful wiz if ever a wiz there was. being told anything about this character. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't, I can't answer this. I don't... I don't remember anything about the character other than that they're OP. I, I legitimately don't remember you ever telling me their name. No memory. Also, did you tell Lyra. me their name in DMs? Or did you say their name in the mono server? Because once again, I don't I don't read every single piece of text said in every server. So if it was uh -huh. said in a space where I could have seen it, that's a lot different than it was said directly to me. Her name is Shira. No, I'm not a furry! What's the most iconic quote in JVN? Is- are there ar iconic quotes <laughs> from JVN? You're an iconic- iconic quote from JVN. You heard it now, folks. I'm the iconic qu quote. Like, you're not just a furry, you're a Lyra's furry. Hmm. Is there anyone here who's not a furry? Zem Bird says, I'm a furry, Lyra's a furry, Tails is a furry, Javier says, Meow. I'm surrounded by furries. Victory! Gold. I wish I could just find gold lying on the ground. Happy says, you know what they say, if you can't beat them. Kid says, Spud keeps escaping her containment when I clean her enclosure and made me turn around so much it made me dizzy. <laughs> Then Firebird is making angry bird noises. Javier? Uh, Happy says, grab a bigger stick! 
Ugh. It's so cold in here. Burr. Shivering. Years giving hugs. Yay! <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. Eat bugs? <laughs> what? Who are they? And why bugs? Ew, I just noticed the, the like, bloody drool coming out of the dog's mouth. Ooh. Either that or that's their lipstick. Elon Berg. Come out of this egg. My prediction is a bird. Can you imagine if I if my bird got a bird as a pet? It'd be like goof it'd be like it'd be like, it'd be like Pluto. But it'd be like if Pluto and Goofy were hanging out. But Lyra, you know Goofy isn't a dog, he's a goof. You're a goof. A goof. I don't know why I said like, said that like I was Pete or something, but. I can't get over how cool the unicorns look in this game. I can't get over how they're like really cool looking, but then they just like strung Christmas lights around their neck. You're just jealous of their Christmas. <laughs> their Christmas spirit. They got so much more Christmas spirit than me. Oh no, Tails, Liar. protect the puppy. Not Tails, uh, Zero, protect the puppies. <laughs> you failed. No! Zero, look how many puppies died. That's all your fault. I can't believe. I'm sorry! I did my best! Did you tell it to run over there and then attack, or did it just do that on its own? I told it to. Okay. It was probably unnecessary, but I wanted to make sure both of the, the puppers had room to hit both of them. Yeah. Because they can kind of, like, block each other, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's clearing up the fog. It's clearing up the fog. Yeah, we are seeing. I can see clearly now. The fog is gone. It's froggy out. <laughs> Clear out the way, frog. I can. Come over here and make a boat. What? You just build a boat. Dude, that's awesome. That was awesome as you. <gasps> the 
boat's got like little umbrellas. It's so cute. You know, one of my favorite things about the One Piece uh, manga is the author has like entire, I think like six pages worth of just uh, the layout of the Thousand Sunny. <laughs> like, like the different decks, where everyone sleeps, where their kitchen is. <laughs> Wait. lot of them, but they're really big. One of them. Uh. What are they doing? I shoot fireballs. So that I stay cloaked up like that. I can uh. as well. Oh, man. I think since I killed them early, I kind of accidentally just... Whoops. Hated my dudes unnecessarily. Oh. But it's okay. That guy killed like 33 of your guys in one hit. Uh, it's because I was the strongest dude whooping the babies of the group. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a tier 7 unit hitting a tier 1 unit. No! <laughs> Like Arceus attacking Rotata. Hey, not meant to take it. <laughs> With a focus sash and endeavor. No, 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 just too cool for that. <laughs> well, that one's worked. Kit says, Pokemon Sleep is the hardest game. Awake at obscene hours of the night and stares at the clock as it turns to 5 a.m. How are you doing? What's Pokemon Sleep? It's, it's the game that just came out. Does it help you sleep? Uh, in theory. How, how does a game do that? Like, I know they have a teeth brushing game, I can kind of conceivably understand that, but... Well, you see, you see, you set a bedtime, and then, and then it gives you Pokemon that go to sleep with you, and then when your bedtime hit says your Pokemon are sleeping, you wouldn't want to keep them up, would you? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> it just you, it tries to, like, guilt you into going to sleep. Does the phone know when you're asleep? Uh, I think so. Huh. I wish my phone would just track when I sleep. <laughs> uh, apparently, like, I can tell from your breathing or something like that. What? That's so weird. No, you. Huh? <gasps> Get dunked on, scrub. I can't believe you've scrubbed me so hard! Someone said their Pikachu isn't happy with them and the people. Stress levels are like not helping. Oh. I got the Pokemon teeth brushing game like a while ago and I still haven't used it. Like I haven't even turned it on. <laughs> well, maybe you should brush your teeth though. I should brush my teeth at all. <laughs> I 
I'm like good at brushing in the morning because I just wake up and my mouth feels gross. But at the end of the day, I don't have that like gross out feeling. So I'm just like, oh, I don't want to go and stand in the bathroom. Okay, Zira, I want to I want to know it, madam. When you say I need to brush at all, that sounds a lot worse than I forget to brush specifically two times a day <laughs> over one. Well, I, I'm I'm a lot better at brushing in the morning now, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I like to. I like to use hyperbole. I do actually brush my teeth at least once. <laughs> and I bought myself a bunch of these little toothpick thingies. You know, they're like a little plastic thing with a, a floss held in the middle. Um, and I, I bought a bunch of them and I just keep them around my desk and in my pockets and stuff so I can like at least floss my teeth whenever I remember. I'm hoping that helps. <laughs> I do brush my teeth at least once. One, one, once a day, right? <laughs> no, once <laughs> in my life. I started brushing at least once after I went to the dentist after not going to the dentist uh, for like years. And they're like, your teeth are not good. I'm like, oh! <laughs> But I still don't floss or brush at night. It's hard! Get better teeth, Zero. I know, right? Oh, sweet. I can get over here. <laughs> I'm here just like the dentist will go row, row, fight the power on your teeth. I think the way the, the the bog works is it doesn't clear up when you're on a boat, but it does clear up when you're on land. Yeah, that makes sense, because like in the other areas, uh, the other maps, that's how it works, right? You're on land and it clears up. Uh, well, normally it'll clear up. Um, even if you're on a boat. Oh. Well, then. Kit says I have a cavity because I missed brushing my teeth for a month because I was not doing okay for like a month. I at least brush like once, twice a day since then, but like, is mental health an excuse? Going the dentist next month! Good luck, Kit! I mean, mental health is an excuse, it's just unfortunately, uh, your body doesn't take excuses. Yeah! I don't even know if I can say mental health is an excuse for me. I don't feel mentally unhealthy when I don't brush my teeth, I just don't have that habit formed, so like, I don't wanna. <laughs> Ooh. Spicy. Spicy! The dead- the- Javier's like, the body doesn't take that as an excuse, and neither does the dentist. <laughs> Life is cruel sometimes. Nope. That didn't go as I was hoping it would. Shoot! Gosh darn it! Whew, thank goodness. That was lucky. Yay. And yes, there I do mean in game. Yes! <laughs> Like, I have to cl clarify, because <laughs> luck is an actual stat.
Lyra, the other day, I um, I was testing out a berry on one of my Pokemon because I didn't know what uh, flavor it liked. And this berry, like, confuses you if it's a flavor the Pokemon doesn't like. So I'm like, okay, I'll just have this Pokemon hit me a couple of times until it triggers the berry. And, uh, and so I, like, engage with this Pokemon. And... <laughs> And my Pokemon moves out of the way of the attack via my shout! <laughs> like, no, don't do that! Research has shown that those suffering from mental illnesses tend to avoid dental care so much that their oral hygiene is neglected. This can result in gum disease and tooth decay. Many people are understandably reluctant to share information about their mental state with their dentists, but it's important your dentist understands why you may be having trouble focusing on something like brushing your teeth. So it is an excuse, and I can explain it to them but I am nervous to talk to people about it. Hooray! I love nervousness. Send an email. <laughs> Do you, though? I am nervousness. <laughs> okay. And I know you like yourself, so I guess you do like nervous. <laughs> hmm. I guess that means I have a lot of Lyra in my life. I think everyone could use more liar in their life. <laughs> my mom thinks I'm making my mental health stuff up, and now I feel like I'm faking it, so I don't talk to her about it. Oof. That's never fun. How much experience do we need for the next level? We're about halfway there. More than you can possibly imagine. It's about 20,000. Oh, you can imagine it. <laughs> I don't have to imagine it. It says right there. Ah, you see? You couldn't imagine it. <laughs> because you knew. blame -o. Blame me out, Hotman. It's lit, dude. It's lit, Leo. You're lit, Leo. <laughs> Lyra, Lyra, I found a shiny, uh... Not lit, Leo, the other lion cub. Shinx! I found a shiny Shinx the other day, just out in the wild. Exciting. It was so exciting. People and do that. And then it gave me two shinies. People do that? Just go out and find shiny Pokemon? <laughs> in the wild! And I didn't even look for it! Can you imagine? I can't. No, there's something I can't imagine. <laughs> The funniest thing, though, um, this is the second shiny cat that I found in Scarlet Violet just out in the wild. The first one was actually a Lit Leo, but then I traded it for a, um, what was it, a shiny... Was it the Krogunk? It was either the Krogunk or the... No, I traded it for a shiny Wee... We Sneasel, Sneasel, the the smaller one. I try traded it for a shiny Sneasel, and then Corny was like, "Sneasel's my favorite Pokemon. You have to give it to me." So I was like, "Oh, okay." Oh, <laughs> uh, so then Egg gave me a shiny Krogunk for the shiny Sneasel, so that she 
she could give it to Corny, and then Corny, uh, got another shiny Sneasel and gave it back to me. Beautiful. But it's like worse because it's a female. <laughs> Kit says, can I battle you someday, Zero? Yes, we can battle. Absolutely. We are recently to battle. Yes, we also need to battle. Maybe the next time we do like a, a game, like a random game day, we can just do Pokemon battles. Get smoke, my dude. Go beat up your friend. I was considering using the shiny crow gunk in my doubles team, but I couldn't decide if I like shiny crow gunk or shiny toxic croak more, and I was afraid to uh, evolve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so now I'm kind of uh, trying trying out using uh, what's it called? Um, my belly bolt. I'm not sure if it'll work on a doubles team because it has muddy water. <laughs> and one of my Pokemon is like four times weak to walk. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> What's the worst I could happen? Ah! None of Badger is fully evolved at level. 54 at the moment, and I named him Benji! Yay! I gave- I gave Kit the son of Badger. My, uh, Typhlosion. Javier says, how's the shiny Satoddle doing? Having a lot of fun kicking it with the other shinies. How are you liking my shiny Glamora and shiny Go Goat? Love them. Very cute. Lyris, like, a battle will be legendary! Zero's like, alas, a worthy opponent. Is that as far as you guys can walk? If you call that walking. They're like waddling from where I'm. Oh, oh wait, no, that is more of a strut. Ah, oh, I've been whipped to death. I like thought they were the, um. I thought they were the refrigerator golems. The gargoyles! I thought they were the gargoyles. From like this distance, so I thought they were like their hair was the wings and that they were waddling. But then I look closely and I'm like, oh, that's a whole woman. That's just a whole lady. With like her weight in hair hanging off her head. I just need your weight in the hair to hang off your head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at them slowly strut. Are you just saying? Or are you super saying? I'm ultra saying. <laughs> Just like, OMG, did you hear that? I can't hear anything. I have the sound off.
Pet says, I still want a roaring moon. I can't find one nor get one to spawn. Oh yeah, I have no idea where to get those. <laughs> Someone was talking about how they don't take gift led uh, shinies because it's like not as satisfying as finding your own. And I'm like, bruh, I tried shiny hunting once, never again, just give them to me. <laughs> Get spooked, my dude. Do you have a favorite shiny, Lyra? Not really. You have a favorite category of shiny? The ones that have a chance to actually look good. <laughs> I like the green ones. That's my least favorite. Black ones are pretty cool too. Um, and you mean frenzy? Frenzy. <laughs> I'm just like I love shiny Garchomp. They don't mess with perfection. <laughs> yeah, my least favorite are the uh, ones that don't look different. That's fair, that's the second worst one. <laughs> it really is just like, a third of them are green, a third of them are exactly the same. So you're left with only one third of these with any potential of looking good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I like the green ones. I like when whenever they take a grass Pokemon and make it autumn colored, I like the tutti fruity ones, and the best ones are the pink lemonade ones. Like, um, like, uh, Dunsparce is a pink lemonade. You've got, uh, uh, Sneasel, which is why they're so good. I also kind of like the blue ones. Like, um, Tyrant is adorable, shiny, and, uh, uh, Psyduck also looks like an icicle. Adora Blue. Adora Bluey! That sounds like the Yoshi's Island board in Mario's Party 1. What? I don't know it well enough to read it. I can't read it I can't believe Bluey stole the music from Yoshi. Or Mario Party. Or would it be Yoshi Party? You're a Yoshi Party. Danger slow. Hmm. Do you have to fight those dragons later? Um, yes and no. 
that to fight that exact stack of dragons that we just saw just now. No. Do we have to fight those breed of dragons before this campaign is over? This, this mission's over. Yes. No. Oh. Gorge. Gorge. Get flamey owed, my dude. A lot of times I keep accidentally highlighting my puppies instead of uh the thing next to them. I actually, I actually mean to highlight to check how far they can move. And the puppies can move really far, so I'm like oh, I was like, oh no. They can go anywhere, so I go, wait, no, that's me. <laughs> Get ponied. Ow. Nope, not you. Get ponied 2.0. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Yeah, no, 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 And then Firebirds to the, 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 the friendship is magical. <laughs> I'm surprised I remember the old one. <laughs> I never watched the old one, but I have this, um... This cartoon medley that this guy made on, uh, on YouTube where he plays the guitar and sings a little bit of a bunch of songs. And that's the version that he put in that one. <laughs> So that's like the only part of that that I know. <laughs> Followed immediately by Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. <laughs> Beautiful. Get dumped on, my dude. You're not trapped. You'll never escape. Are we watching uh, Space Jam? Because that was Maximum Dunkage right there! Hmm. Your Space Jam. What? I really desperately wish you would hit anything but those. <laughs> Literally anything but those would have been fantastic. Literally anything. <laughs> Is the AI like really good in this game? It varies. You're playing on uh normal, I think, so quite a bit. Most genius ever. But it's also not Pokemon, so it's. I think it's gonna be at least decent. Somehow it pinpointed the one thing you didn't want it to hit and hit that. <laughs> Let's see, we lost 14 and gained 22, so it's still a net positive, but yeesh. Yeesh, I say. I just realized neither Mana nor Tails are here yet. Hmm. Speaking of which, your uh, mod actions section is really funny, because the first one from six days ago is just, I'm gonna kill you, added as permitted term by Tails of, and then gay as added as permitted term by 
you, and then trainer Mana timed out by Tails. <laughs> <laughs> He was on brand that I permitted the game. Yeah! <laughs> Is that close enough? It's not close enough. Oh! But we got the good luck. Nice. Trainer Mana says false positives. We have false positives. The goat is under investigation. Yes, Mana's here. Hello. Hello, we were just talking about how you weren't here yet. <laughs> I have no idea what Zen Firebird and Javier are talking about. Uh, me either. Should I keep getting money or should I get experience? I'm gonna keep getting money. You took too long to respond, Zero. Ah. Oh, we're pretty close to the next level. That's... Yay! 16,000? 16,000? 16,000. Major whoopage. A one thinker, don't we? Abraka one. Let's have you wait. There we go. What? That's not close enough for the extra damage yet. There's just no range penalty. You're so far away. So close. So close. Still so 